So can you break down a little bit, um, like the from a production side, how does a stop box work? So this is this is actually kind of the um, the secret sauce to like to what we do. So we actually have a utility patent on the locking design itself, um, and it's really simple. And this is what I what I was thinking of when I was coming up with this is um, you need something to be able like essentially an, a key right to open it. And I thought, well, I definitely don't want it to be an external key because then you're gonna have to keep track of something else. Yeah. And there's um, you know many ways that that can that can fail. Like, but your hand is actually required to use a pistol, mm -hmm. right? You're, you know, you need your fingers to be able to use that. So that's always going to be with you. I mean, for most people, for a lot of people, to some degree. Um, and so, okay, well, you got five fingers similar to like the ridges on a key, right? And the way a key works, you've got five pin tumblers. You got these these pins that have to be aligned a certain way, and then that's what allows the barrel to then rotate, and you can turn the key. So what this is is essentially the reverse of that. So instead of it being contained in a barrel inside, it's on the outside and your hand creates the key. So what you have with that is you've got these finger actuators that correspond to your hand. And if you notice, it's mapped on the corner of the enclosure here. And that's for a very particular reason. That's so you can actually reference something. So that's the mm. tactile part of this, right? Yeah. So most other safes or whatever you um you know quick access lock boxes they've got their their digits right here mm -hmm. and so that doesn't give you any feedback to know where you're at whereas this you can find that corner yeah. very easily and that's and what's going to open mm -hmm. that, that's the side that's going to open and everything yep. and so when your hand finds those finds those actuators right it basically positions them perfectly so now all you have to do is press in your code and the way that works is each one of these buttons can move between three different positions. So you have all the way out, all the way in, and then in between. Mm. So that gives you between these four buttons, 81 different combinations that you can select between. 